Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. This week, it's part one of Riding the Roads of Florida with Everywhere Eddie. Find out how you can win a Harley Davidson for free at Quaker Steak and Lube. It's the time machine from wheels through time. And animals like you've never seen before. All this and more here on Born to Ride. Hi, I'm Charlie Daniels. You're watching Born to Ride. Music can bring people together to become friends, but getting out and riding can bond friendships even stronger, as you will see in this segment of Riding the Roads of Florida. We made it here to Burt's Barracuda. We're going to get a chance to finally get an interview with John Dempsey, the real deal guy in our motorcycle community. I mean, this guy is a winner, he's a leader, and he drives success to this dealership every day. And Yeah, I'm excited talking to John Dempsey, the general manager of Burt's Barracuda. Man, it's going to be a great interview. Where's John? Let's go get him. So, man. yeah, no, he's actually here today. Normally, he's got Fridays off. He takes maybe one day, but he all he does is ride, I feel like. So, it's nice that he's actually here uh, to do an interview. So, let's go uh, yeah, let's, let's go, go say hey. Him. Let's go interrupt him. He's probably in the office, you know. So, let's go interrupt him. That's a little less time with me. We're gonna go in here just so you know for his interview. Um, so I just hope that he's um, in a good mood. Let's see what happens here. So let, let, let's just see real quick. Oh, he is here. We're here to do that interview. Today? Yes. I guess. Well, I'm going to ride. If you want to join me, you guys can do that. But I, I got to get out of here, man. I got a bike. You have a bike you bought from me. Yeah, we can talk on the road yeah. and really get to know you. I can't know you. I don't want, I can't get to know you here. Beth's behind me. So hold on, John. We're here to do an interview with you. But man, you'd rather go out and ride. That's cool well, as hell. You're more than welcome to join, get to know you on the road. That's what it's about. Get out there, get on the open road, and let's go. Let's I'm go. I'm ready. Man. You ready? I'm ready. We're going to ride. So hold on. Well, they quoted him in pretty. Fair price as well. Pretty good. Remember Billy J. I like a good that. customer yeah. of ours. What's up, guys? Hey, Bert, perfect oh, hey, timing. Bert. Well, wow, that's not from our shop. No, it is not from our shop, and they're giving her a pretty good price right here. Hey, I'm uh, telling you, nobody's going to beat Bert. It ain't going to happen. Okay? okay, not only you do this deal, but you give him an extra 50 bucks, and you tell him to get his butt in here, and I give him a $50 shopping I spree on top of agree. that. <laughs> Nobody beats Bert <laughs> on anything. Just remember that. Burp even if it's aftermarket, we even go a step further. Nobody beats Bert. Mm -hmm. Anybody comes in here and we don't beat him, I'll give you a thousand dollars cash on a written coin. That's right. Same equipment, same items. If you guys don't beat him, I'm gonna give a thousand dollars cash. You guys are gonna pay for it. Awesome. <laughs> I don't get much time off here. Right. And when I do, I try to go ride. And this young lady, guys, everyone knows Beth, right? You know Beth? <laughs> She's holding me up riding. I'm trying to go ride. I am just making sure you're prepared. I'm trying you gotta to. be prepared. Are you ready? Well, we're taking John up to some beautiful country, somewhere he's never been, oh. some awesome back roads, and no interstates. It's a speed limit that, there. That's what we're going to care you know? most about. What's the speed limit? <laughs> you guys have a great ride, ride today. today. Born to ride. <laughs> Born to ride, baby.
powerful place, Eddie. Peaceful, beautiful, unbelievable. I mean, we thought we were just gonna go off on a, on a ride today, but you know, we really got some emotion in it. And uh, you know, it just shows what bikers do when they get out on a motorcycle, where they can go. Well, I was coming out on my own today. And I'm thank God you guys came in for that interview. Yeah. Thank you very much for bringing me. I'm glad we were able to get you out on the road with us. Yeah, we're gonna hit some more back roads now when we leave here that are gonna be pretty amazing. I know you're appreciating it. Well, you won't be able to top what we just went through, so well. I'm glad we follow, <laughs> but good luck. Matt Waxler here from Wheels Through Time. We're firing up 17 of the world's rarest motorcycles for our 17th anniversary coming up July 4th weekend. Each day leading up to the 17th anniversary, we're going to fire one of these 17 rare motorcycles. Uh, just so you guys know we're not kidding around, we're going to start off with what is commonly referred to as the world's rarest motorcycle, the 1917 Traub, 1916 Traub, pardon me. Uh, the Traub, for those of you guys that may be unfamiliar, I suppose the story kind of starts in the 60s. This bike was found behind a brick wall in a Chicago residential building. Nobody knows who built it or when it was found. Little known about the bike's origin. Uh, we date the bike to about a 1916, 1917 vintage. Uh, that's based on the very few parts you'd find anywhere else in the world. Uh, this motorcycle is made almost entirely of its own design. It's a 76 cubic inch side valve, twin cam, three speed transmission, keystone frame, low slung center of gravity, new breed of motorcycle. And I'm highly convinced that had the world been a little bit different, we might all be riding Trobs. So uh, the bike is far ahead of anything that was being produced in the same day. Uh, the seat, the carburetor, and the magneto are three of the only parts you'd find anywhere else in the world. So the guy really, really, really was ahead of his time in that he developed his own engine. Uh, you know, if you guys are riding new Harley-Davidsons today, you're probably on Harley-Davidson twin cams. Uh, this guy actually developed his own twin cam lower end. Uh, big displacement, side valve, which is also ahead of its time. Uh, and then what's really part of the most unique piece of this bike is the transmission. The bike's got a three-speed transmission with two neutrals. Now, uh, motorcycling's always been about transmitting to the power to the rear, or excuse me, the power to the ground. So you need to get the power from the engine to the rear wheel. Um, early on, you've got single speeds, you've got belt drives. That struggle was something that was really, uh, you know, a, a big part of the first 10, 15 years of motorcycling. Uh, took Harley and Indian and Excelsior probably hundreds of thousands of dollars to develop this three-speed transmission. Uh, this guy assumingly did it on his own, uh, in his own, uh, in his own time. Now the machine is entirely 
uh, engine is cast of its own design, the frame, uh, low slung center of gravity, real low seat position. It's what we call a keystone frame. Now, a keystone frame, traditionally, this bikes of this area, you've got the loop frame where the loop tube comes from down from the neck underneath the engine and up to the seat post puts the engine quite a bit higher in the frame it makes these bikes quite tippy this bike uh, keystone frame makes the engine a stressed member so there's no loop tube down there actually allows you to put the the whole lower end of the bike about below the axle so the bike is quite powerful it runs uh, as good as any bike of this vintage i know so without further ado uh, we may as well get this thing cranked up and going so fuel is on this is one of the very few bikes here that you cannot kick over without the compression release so what the compression release does is it lifts the exhaust valves uh, I'll pull the choke on here just a bit and what you do it's got a really unique kind of ratchet type of kicker where you actually give it three or four swift kicks and build the flywheel inertia up and you drop the compression release and it should fire right up so Fingers crossed that she runs as good as Mr. Traub intended. Check this out, Steve. You got exposed intake and exhaust lifters with side valve, name cast two places on the engine, really unique sight glass. Here's the three speed transmission. Have it, guys. From the Border Ride News Desk, breaking news. What's hot and trending on social media in the motorcycle world? Check it out here, now on Born to Ride. Alright, see you later. 